Hey gang, welcome back to Post Family Pilgrimage. On this episode, I want to talk to you about this big guy right here. This is the Swiss Champ pocket knife. Uh, this one has always been a favorite of mine. I've, I've had this one for a little over a year or so. And I'll tell you why it was my favorite. Because years ago, I watched a movie where there was a kid who was gifted this very knife in the movie. His name was Rourke, and the movie was called The River Wild with Meryl Streep. Uh, incredible movie. I'll show you the little clip here, but he opens this, this dude up as a, uh, a birthday present. His birthday's on the river while they're floating the river. And he uses the magnifying glass right here, um, or excuse me, his dad does, in order to, to help save them. And Come on. Rourke? Put your helmet on, buddy. Just a really cool, I mean, he you know, uses some of the different features on this thing. The movie is by no means about this knife, but it's just one of those movies where uh, it utilizes a tool that you love or that you're intrigued by. And that is one of the things for me, uh, let's see, I was probably 12 or 13 when that movie came out, and that lit a fire for me uh, about, uh, kind of just in my heart, about the good old Swiss Army knives. So. In this episode, I want to take some time and walk you through this guy right here with all of its different features. This is the Swiss Champ. It has 33 different features to it. So I'll kind of just walk you through some of those. Uh, I had already pulled it off of here just for video's sake, but uh, the Swiss Champ does come uh, on the back side here. It's kind of dangerous, I guess, having all of these out for the video uh, but right inside of here is your uh, your miniature flathead screwdriver right there uh, this one also comes with so item number two can be your needle right there in the neck of this guy right there It's in the scale. I said neck, but right there in the scale. So you just slide it back up in there. Uh, you've got your typical stuff. So you have uh, the 91 millimeter scales on this one. So you have your tweezers here. Let's see, you can see that there. Tweezers. Uh, on this side, you have your little ballpoint pen. back in there and then your classic paper clip right there all right there's so many things sticking off of here so uh, I'm gonna <laughs> carefully go through each item and as I do I will close it back so let's start off with the magnifying glass uh, right here this is plastic and this will help you with starting fires it's gonna take a little bit the light has the sun has to be just right, but you can use this feature right here uh, as a magnifying glass to help you read small print, find things, um, but then also uh, truthfully as a, a fire starter, which is an excellent little tool to have on there. Uh, let's go kind of back up the front here. So you have your typical uh, flathead screwdriver right here with your. Uh, bottle opener. I'll push that one down. You can obviously open this up fully like so. Yeah, too many open here. There we go. Close those two. Uh, this one here, you've got your smaller head for your flathead screwdriver. Uh, it also has the bottle or can opener uh, right here. 
um, and the sharper edge of that super sharp right there. Here you have a, let's see if I can get it, there we go. Uh, you've got your Phillips head screwdriver and it goes two angles as well. And then you've got your biggest knife of all, your big blade right there. Classic size uh, Swiss Army blade. On the other side is your smaller blade, kind of coming back from the opposite angle is your smaller blade right here. Super sharp. Uh, I love this file. Uh, so one of the things you get here is the file right there. And you can see the grit on there, it's on both sides. Uh, with the edge to it right there. Right here is your saw. And so similar to the Huntsman and the fact that you have this saw blade right here. Very, very sharp saw blade. Love that. Uh, this is your fish scaler right here. And so you can see the numbers that are on the there as well. So that's also considered um, a, a ruler. And then in the tip here, you have uh, a fish hook remover. So the idea or the thought, the thought behind this one is fishing related, which I do a whole lot of. So um, it's part of the reason why, also one of the reasons why I got this one. You have your small set of pliers. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Right there, there you go. Um, so this right here is your, your pliers. Uh, spring open. There you go. And then, of course, you cannot go wrong right there with that classic scissors. Perfect set of scissors. Love those scissors. Okay, and so in here, back side of it, corkscrew. Uh, you know the you know the corkscrew it comes great. Works great with uh, wine bottles, obviously. But this feature I've used several times in. Uh, I double knot my shoelaces and it can help you get that knot in there and, and work that as far as getting that unknotted. All right, inside here is your awl. Go ahead and close that one. You can see the awl has a blade to it as well. Love that edge of the awl blade there uh, with, with the needle so that you can thread a needle there and, uh, and, and do some sewing if you need to. Here is your center hook. Uh, a little fun fact, anytime you have the center hook, you have the scissors. That is a Swiss Army feature. Anytime you have the hook, it's a parcel hook. Anytime you have that on the opposing side, you have your scissors. So if you ever see the hook on there, uh, you know that you have your scissors. And this also just allows you to have a stand. I've seen people use this to put their phone on, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, right here is a another flathead and some people use this other one right here as a scraper it has more of an edge to it as I'll show you you can kind of see the edge there to that all right so this is uh, the Swiss champ car it's a little fat uh, it's got one two th let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven to eight. Uh, it's, almost, it's almost twice as wide as the Huntsman. Uh, I was just looking this up just to help, help you know where you can pick this one up at. And it is currently, there we go. Huh? Come on, camera, there we go. This one is currently $69 on Amazon. Uh, yeah, so I will include the link for you in there so that you can check that out if you're at all interested. Love this knife. Can't speak uh, highly enough about it. I guess one of the other things to mention, of course, is your little lanyard right here uh, for your keys, key ring. Uh, man, there's so many things that I love uh, about this, but I also just love how well it, it packs in. I will say, though, that something that uh, I've fallen even more in love with than my old champ is this guy right here. And this is going to be the Evolution S5 
0.557. Kind of complicated, so that's a whole nother video. It's a locking blade, a lot of different things here, kind of a combo between a Wanger and a Swiss Army uh, Victorinox. So anyways, uh, that's a different video. We'll get into that one some other time. But for now, this right here, Swiss Champ, excellent, excellent knife. Got some weight to it. Uh, for that reason, I still find myself carrying my Huntsman more often. However, uh, camping, this is always with me. Uh, if you've seen my videos, you've probably seen this by like the campfire or by my uh, kitchen setup, uh, just slicing and, and dicing vegetables, whatever, <clears throat> but always have this with me. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up on the Swiss Champ. Highly recommend this knife if you're at all interested in adding one to your collection then check it out. Thanks guys. Y'all have a good one.